Good morning, YouTube. It's Bama Mobs here, continuing our journey, the marathon for beginners, which is most of you that's been following the channel uh, has seen that um, really in a walking phase, trying to build back up to running at this point. So uh, today is uh, June 25th. As always, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and also hit that notification bell. Really helps me out. Appreciate everything you do for me out there. Uh, so today was the second day of a 10K. So yesterday I did a 10K walk. Today I did 10K. It incorporated a lot more hills on one of my older videos where I took you on the walk with me. Uh, you'll see the incline on those hills. Uh, <clears throat> so a pretty good workout again, getting the heart rate up a little bit more than usual. As far as body weight, like I was telling you a couple of days ago, uh, driving back from Panama City, did a couple of chili cheese dogs, a little bit higher sodium content. So yesterday I weighed in right at 212, which is a little bit of a disappointment after a week in Panama City with good diet and able to walk several miles every day. I really expected sub 210. Uh, but anyway, this morning came in at 210 pounds even and it's just mathematics you know if you're not taking in a ton of calories if you're burning more calories you're going to lose the weight uh i have proven that fact it's not indisputable for all the gurus out there now i started in april this is almost uh july so i went from 220 to 210 um, in a safe controlled manner uh, over a period of time and probably losing what less than one pound per week uh, although I think as momentum gets going probably the weight loss as the metabolism changes uh, weight loss probably a little bit more rapid for me on a personal level uh, body weight what's the goal I always go by the army standards you know it's just what I'm built into uh, you know, as a young guy in high school, I did enjoy the whole uh, army experience. So, so for someone who's five foot six, the max weight is 168 pounds. If you weigh 169 pounds, that means you have to get taped to make sure you're not part of the Fat Boys Club. Yeah, there's no politically correct in the military, even at basic training. You know, like people that were fat. You know, you had regular meal line that people went through. Then you had the fat boy section. You know, you over there eating like <laughs> you over there eating granola, yogurt. <laughs> what was bad though is that I looked over at that stuff. I was like, man, that stuff looks good. That looks better than all this greasy eggs and sausage. So I go to the fat boys line and the you know, drill sergeant started throwing granola at me. It's like, get the heck out of here, man. What's wrong with you? Get out of here. You pip squeak. <clears throat> anyway, that was a lot of fun. All right, back to business here. All right, so the goal for the rest of the week is doing a 10K, 10K a day until Sunday. Um, I might go back to Florida next week. It's July 4th. They do a super fireworks show at Panama City Beach. Uh, if you have a way to get there, get there. In all honesty, we'll probably stay off beach this time. Uh, I think the Holiday Inn Sunspray, I mean, I may be wrong, but I checked it before I left down there. So for July, fourth week, it was like six fifty a night. Then you had to tack on their resort fee, which is 50 bucks. So 700 bucks a night. Uh, just not gonna pay that. Uh, even off beach is fairly steep. I think there's a residence in by Pure Park and it's right at 200 a night. Uh, but it is what it is. You know, it's prime time, 4th of July, Panama City Beach, Florida. It is what it is. Uh, as far as dietary regimen, uh, yesterday I had catfish, vegetables, went to work, had some yogurt, came back home, had some leftover vegetables, and I went to bed. I really think, I mean, that is the key. If I can stay on point on the dietary program, coupled with the workout, it's gonna be a no-brainer. I mean, I'm gonna get in better shape, I'm gonna be more fit, naturally lose weight. And so that's ultimately the go. And we'll leave y'all with this. Yeah, I didn't like start out walking a 10K, 10K a day 
I always remember there's a starting point. You have your own personal starting point. And this is why I recommend to people, and actually I did it a few times. If I went a large, like four or five months not working out, and I want to get back in the routine of things, I would drive to Planet Fitness. I would drive there, park, look around for a second, crank up my car and go home. And I would do that three days in a row just to get the feel to change the dynamic of what I think was my unchangeable life of me having no time to do stuff to start seeing how I can change my life, my schedule to get the workout in. And that's really the starting point. Don't even think about whatever workout you're planning. Of course, see a doctor first before to start any type of exercise program. But just make the change. You got to make the commitment. You got to make the time. If you do that, you can be successful. So I would recommend doing that first. If you want to go to a parking lot, Planet Fitness, um, a uh, junior college parking lot where I'm at right now, now, wherever you go to, just drive there, you know, sit for about five or 10 minutes, you know, look at your phone, magazine, wherever you got, and then go back to the house. Do that three days in a row, but then on the fourth day, get out and whatever your personal exercise program, whatever you want it to be, start there, start small. Yeah, little steps. Again, me on a personal level, you know, start out this whole marathon journey uh, it was an excellent program I was on. You know, I just had some tweaks with my legs. This was able to keep up the mileage on the running. Uh, but it started out like a 30 second walk with a 30 second jog for a total of 10 minutes. That's what that program was. For me, in retrospect, I should just started walking, period. I've been much better off. I'm sort of doing this whole deal in reverse. Um, so that first day I should have walked a quarter mile and for the whole week I should have just walked a quarter mile second week a half mile third week th you get the drift okay so that's what I want to leave you with you know, small steps and be consistent hey y'all have a good day it's beautiful outside get out enjoy the weather uh, you know take a leisurely walk at lunch and just continue your journey as I continue mine. I'll see y'all later. Hey, please subscribe to the channel.